Sir. Welcome to ZM2J's channel again. This is our second day here in Dubai and our second day to Expo 2020. Um, again, my name is Jocelyn B. Mangivin, a board certified behavior analyst and an international behavior analyst. So, uh, what is our topic for today? Our quick snip for today is about tantrums, which I'm always getting, of course, questions because it's like a package of um, lots of negative behaviors. Now, if you will ask me what is tantrums, actually, it really depends on your child's behavior. So for ABA, what we are doing, um, we're going to observe the child directly and then we need to operationally define it. Okay, so we cannot just say tantrums uh, and then he has screaming, crying, something like that. But it really depends on the child. So before we make a behavior intervention plan, we need to have a specific um, observation to the child so that we can operationally define it with the topographies or the functions of the behavior. So most of the time it's a package of two negative, minimum of two negative behaviors, okay? So for example, the child is screaming and then flopping and then kicking uh, or having some aggression. So that could be a package of one tantrum. Or some children, they're having only um, crying and then trashing of items and um, banging their head. So that's another um, kind of tantrum. So in general, we are using the word tantrums for like a package of all the negative behaviors that your child is emitting. So in some point, what I want to emphasize is that the tantrums will not start with a peak, okay? Imagine a mountain. The mountain has valley in the side, actually, valley, and then the peak, and then down again, okay? So that's how also we manage tantrum. So most of the time, we are being proactive. So we need to check first, what are the reinforcements of your, or reinforcers of your child? What are the preferred items? We need to be proactive before the whining or before the crying starts. So um, if you have some precursors, so those are the things that you need to be very careful in observing the precursors so if you have that you need to be proactive you don't need to wait for the child to whine or to cry okay so before the small negative behavior happens there and then when you, you when you catch it up so it's it's finished it, it didn't go high then you are successful but if it goes really higher like on the peak okay you don't need to comment directly on the behavior even eye contact we don't give directly to the child so what we're going to do is to manage it be calm be neutral and then find something that you can redirect your child with for example your child loves really blocks something like that you are not talking to your child but in the side you are playing it pretend playing it that your child can see you and then if that's a favorite item, he will come to you, near to you, and then you have to let him, just prompt him to calm down, then two seconds, then prompt him to request or just look at you. Two se seconds is very important because you need to catch the quiet, the quiet voice, not the crying, okay? That's why I'm saying always two seconds when you cut it up, then you need to give the reinforcement or you need to prompt your child to request and then after that when you are in the other side of the mountain so going down then that's the time you have to pair again with your child so play again give some free reinforcers 
and then build it up again so i understand that it's really really tiring especially when you are at the peak of the tantrums okay but we need to be careful not to reinforce the negative behaviors okay that's why we have this just imagine the mountain you need to be proactive and then if you are at the peak just manage it accordingly you don't need to comment directly and then just be neutral find something that you can redirect your child and then when it goes down 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 then that's the time you can reinforce the quiet voice without the negative behavior and then build up from there so just a quick review we have only four functions of the behavior number one is attention number two is tangibles if they want something number three is escape from work number four is sensory so tantrums usually those are not uh, automatic those are parts of um either uh, escape or attention or um the tangibles okay so you have to act according to the function of the behavior so if your child wants something you need to prompt your child to at least um, say the name of the item as a form of requesting or if the, the child is non vocal then you just have to let the child look at you and you say the name of the item to be proactive on that situation so I hope you understand the part of tantrums and how to handle them and uh, now I'm gonna show you our second day of our Dubai Expo 2020 and I hope you enjoy our second day so if you have some questions guys just uh, make a comment below and we can discuss it uh, either in the, my live session or on my next video thank you so much Punta na naman kami. Let's uh, let's find our mobility bus. We reached our destination. So, yay! So this is the morning version of the flags. You see, last night I tried to take a picture as much as I can. And we're gonna start walking. We've just done with our um, security check and then we're heading to Australia there because last night we weren't able to go in but we were able to get picture so let's explore Dubai Expo again so guys we receive a free free water so thank you thank you expo 2020 for this while waiting we have this free water so we are here inside the australian pavilion
we're doing the stamping so we know that we finished Australia good 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 it was cool it's full of information culture and lots of stuff that we didn't know about Australia it's really good good job Australia When volcanoes were erupting, the volcanic dust went into the soil and that soil is enriched with those minerals. So the coffee, it has the specific, the special taste of, um, of those minerals. And after the video experience, you can have the free trial. Usually, we at the International Airport of this beautiful country. So, we you know something? Life and nature.
So guys, we just rested for a while. We get tired. Yeah, nagrest na yung aming mga feet. Another stopover, guys. Water, water time, water break. So, marami rami pa kami hindi na puntahan. We still need to go to lots of countries, kasi on 100 plus countries. But we can just maximize uh, whatever we can for the three days. So last night we did and then today and then tomorrow will be our last day. So yeah, look.
So guys, uh, we actually my husband has been to lots of countries and for the rest of us, we just uh, dropped by to some. But we collected like 41 stamps already. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And now we're heading to the hotel again so that we can rest. And then tomorrow again from 3 p.m., we're gonna be back here. And I'm gonna show you some of the parts that we didn't see yet. Okay? So, see ya.